Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education Learning Centre. In my previous video, I shared with you one typical type of average question, which I name it Average with Repeated Items. If you have not viewed the video, please click on the link to watch it before you continue. Today, I will share with you another type of average question that most pupils have difficulty in solving. I name it Average with Unknown Items. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's take a look at this question. The usual questions that are a lot easier would be those that has a fixed number of items mentioned in the story. Example, three children sharing $30. But for this type of questions, it will not mention how many files or how many people are there in the story. So let's read this question. The average price of some identical files is $4. Draw four rectangles to represent the files and put $4 on each rectangle. When Jack bought another file which cost $14, so you add another file right at the end and write $14 into the box. The average cost of all the files become $6. Now with the introduction of this more expensive file of $14, we use this interesting term in lesson and we call it a downgrade. So you will draw another row, a second row of files. As you can see, the blue files has an average of $6 and the new file that was introduced will have to take an average of $6 as well. We call this a downgrade. It came with a very high value of $14, but now because you're doing the average, averaging out with the other files, it downgraded from $14 to $6. It's just a fun term that will help pupils remember. And what had happened to the difference of this $8? It is further distributed to the other files. So what we call this 14 minus 6, we call it a big gap. And this big gap is $8. With this SS $8, it is distributed to the other files in the story. And as you can see, from $4, there is an upgrade, alright, it's just another fun term. There's an upgrade of $2 to get a new average of $6. We call this the small gap. When $8 is distributed to all the files and each file receives an extra $2, as you can see, we'll know that $8 divided by 2 will give you the answer 4, which means that 4 files receive this extra $2. So the question asks, how many files were there at first? There are 4 files at first. Hope this video has helped you understand how to solve this type of questions in future. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media. Follow us on our Facebook Math Discussion Group where we will discuss questions on a daily basis and I'll be sharing with you some math concepts that will help you solve more questions in future. See you!